You guys, so I had somebody try to cancel me for quote unquote stealing clothing and I want to talk about it because this <laughs> this whole situation just ended up exposing somebody else completely by accident, which wasn't my intention. But the way it just played out was so chaotic and so I want to talk about it. Hey Justies, and welcome back to our video. Before I get started, this commission for Haley. Now that being said, if you guys do want to get your GFX featured in my videos, make sure to order the link in the description. I'm going to pause my Robux commissions for a bit because I just want to catch up with my other stuff because I've been feeling really overwhelmed. But I will open the back up eventually, just not right now. Now, I think something that a lot of smaller YouTubers don't realize is that when your channel starts getting a little bit bigger, I'm not saying I'm famous, but when your channel gets bigger, you will have people non-stop lying about you for attention. I kid you not, it's non-stop. And when it first started happening, I would get really upset and I'd be really hurt because I'm like, why are these people lying? Like, I never did anything to you, whatever, right? And then as it started happening more and my channel got bigger, I kind of like just became used to it. And now if somebody lies about me, I don't really care and I'm not going to respond to it. I will only ever respond to things if they have truth to them. If they have nothing to do with me or who I actually am, or if they're just completely pulled out of somebody's butt. But there's no point responding to it because it's very obvious that it's fake and I think like the majority of people would realize that. That being said though, basically what happened was I don't check my mentions anymore. Not because I don't want to see your guys' stuff, but I just, I don't have like, I don't know, I don't feel the need to see what other people are saying about me. Like it just feels like, I don't know, it doesn't sound very good for your mental health. So basically, I don't usually check my mentions and I haven't checked them in over six months. So if somebody tags me in something, I usually just don't see it because I'm not checking my mentions. But basically... Somebody kept leaving comments on my channel being like, are you going to dress how you stole clothing? Are you going to dress how you stole clothing? Blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, what's this person talking about? Stole clothing? What? And so I'm kind of just like ignoring it. I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about because I don't steal clothing. I know that for a fact. I've always been very careful when I buy clothing and stuff like that. But basically, other people start responding to their comments like, what do you mean she stole clothing? They're like, check out the video on my channel. I'm like, I guess I'm going to check out the video on their channel. Um, and I go and I look. And it's this person and they've pulled up this sweater that I have in my group and they said that it's very clearly stolen from this other group and they linked this pretty big Roblox group like this group has like 8,000 10,000 members like this is a decent sized Roblox clothing group and they're saying that this group uploaded the clothing a couple weeks before me so that means that I stole the clothing from them keep in mind though the clothing is the same sweater but just slightly different color variants I've been accused of stealing clothing before because somebody that I hired to make clothing for me, although they said that the clothing was exclusive to my group, they went ahead and resold the clothing to another group and hadn't told me. So by the time I posted my clothing, another group had already posted the exact same clothing. And so even though I bought the usage rights to this clothing, they had gone behind my back and resold it, which is like really not good. Like that's really dishonest. You're not supposed to do that. Um, and that created like a whole issue for me that I had to find myself over. But this time it wasn't the same thing. It was different. Now, I knew for a fact the clothing I had wasn't stolen. And so I went to this other person's group that this person I mentioned in the video, and I look at it, and I can see that in their group bio, they say, all handmade by me, which basically means all the clothing is hand-drawn by them, I would assume on their drawing tablet or something, right? And I look at this clothing, and I'm like, oh no, ma'am. Oh no, th this is not hand-drawn. You wanna know why I know that? Because I have a free clothing app that I use to just like play around with it and make clothing just for fun. And I ended up using one of the clothing templates that I got from the app to just list it as a GFX thing on my group. And basically what ended up happening was somebody also used the exact same app, had the same template, put different colors on it, and then uploaded it to their group and claimed they hand drew it. Now something about me is that if somebody makes a video about me with the clear intent to hurt my feelings, I'm not gonna respond because you're not hurting my feelings. Toast Drybex is a persona on the internet, it's not who I am as a person, so I had to like it took me a while to like separate myself from that. But also in this particular situation, I don't really think this person was like trying to cancel me or like tell me like off myself like other people would. I think they're generally just confused. So I left a little comment like, hey, I'm um, actually, this is like a free clothing template that is free to use from this app. It literally says on the clothing template that it's made by the app. It's 100% free to use. You don't need to credit it. You could just use it and resell it, whatever. Um, so just so you know, that's where I got it from. It's not stolen. I literally just used a template and put different colors on it and then used it to sell my GFXs. Keep in mind, I never like to my memory, never like actually sold the shirt like as a clothing item. I always just used it as a filler to basically sell my commissions because I don't actually take the time to make a full clothing item, but I also don't want the clothing item that I'm using to be like flagged to Roblox moderation. So I just chose something like very like PG, which is a zipped up sweater to use as like the cover of my Roblox GFX commission so that it wouldn't get like reported or like taken down by Roblox moderation. The person that made the video proceeds to respond to me like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. Like I've made a complete mistake. I'm so sorry. Like I didn't realize this, blah, 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 whatever. I'm like, okay, like that's fine. Like, I'm I'm used to it. I'm used to people jumping to conclusions. And if I do anything, like, if I re even respond the wrong way, I'm going to get canceled. Like, it's not even funny. People are so incredibly sensitive. But basically, what this person ends up doing is they take the video down and they proceed to post a new video, but this time about the group. 
that basically had, I guess, accused me of copying their clothing. I don't quite know how this whole thing happened, but I guess that group had made some sort of like comment in their group and someone said, oh, you have the same shirt as Toast RBX. And they're like, no, she stole that from us. I guess it's what had happened. I don't fully know. But this person then ends up making a video about that group saying that their clothing is in fact not all hand drawn. And this creates this whole ripple like chain effect on this group, which I never intended to happen. In the group, they are basically just getting like mobbed by kids saying like, how dare you lie to me? How dare you whatever? Which to be honest, I don't think Roblox clothing is really that serious. I'm sorry. I know like stealing clothing, bad, but like using a free template, like, come on now. You don't have to be sending people death threats over that. I really don't think that's appropriate. And it was just like, they like kept getting like people like spamming their group and stuff like that, which I never said anything about the group. I never said anything about it aside from in the comment section where I said, no, actually I didn't copy and I said the group name. I got this from a free clothing template app, which is, this is the name of the app and this is the template name, right? Um, the person in their video, like basically they quote unquote exposed this group. They used my comment and put it on the screen and I ended up getting an email from this group saying like, hey, like can you tell people to stop attacking us? You created this whole situation for us. I'm like, whoa 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 there i didn't create anything for you i didn't do anything to you actually what you did was you went ahead and came to me and start decided to start spreading rumors about me and saying that i stole your stuff when you knew that you had gotten clothing from a free app and i guess you're just upset that i used the same template like i don't know like you didn't make the template you don't own it it's not the same thing when i'm using a clothing template to hold a spot to accept commissions and you're using a template and presenting it as something that you handmade and misleading people into thinking that they're paying for something that's handmade when in reality they could literally just go to this game and on like their ipad and something and use the exact same clothing template that you have and just recolor it to make it look exactly like how they want it to look like i it's it's dishonest to present it as something that you've made when you haven't made it yeah, it's so basically they sent me an email and they said like, I need to stop attacking them. I need to stop sending people to attack them. I never responded because why am I going to respond to you? I, I never sent anybody to attack you actually. All I did was defend myself after you made a false accusation about me. And then that backfired on you. I don't know. Like, don't lie about other people if you don't want them to set the story straight. Like, I never even said anything bad about their group either. I just said like, hey, this is from an app and they got upset and they ended up closing their group. Like, this group had like 8,000, 10,000 members and they ended up like literally locking their entire group. And I haven't checked back since this happened. Like, I, I don't really feel like it's my business like whatever i don't care um but the last time that i did check when this whole situation happened they said their group was permanently closed which that's not good well what i would assume happened because people were saying this in the group is that they realized that other clothing that they had was also like stolen like some of it was used from the free app and then other clothing i guess was literally just ripped from other groups because if you guys don't know back in like the day like 2020 there was like discord bots you could use that you could put in the code i made a video about this forever ago when it was like a big scam but basically um you could put in like the ID code for clothing and put it into a Discord bot and it would auto-generate the clothing template for you. And basically then you could just take that clothing template that it generated for you and re-upload it to Roblox as like your own item basically. Um, which was like a big issue back in the day because like big clothing groups are getting constantly scammed. And that's why now on some clothing, you'll see that there's like a watermark on it, like underneath the armpit. Yeah, basically that's what ended up happening. Um, and it kind of sucked because like, I don't want any groups to like go out of business because of like indirectly because of me, because at the end of the day, there's a very specific reason why I don't mention names when I do my videos is because I've noticed that as my channel's gotten bigger, even if I say, don't attack this person, if I say anybody's name, people are going to go and attack them. And that's not my intention. I don't want anybody to feel attacked or harassed or whatever, even if they've done something that's like wrong. That being said, though, it definitely was just like a little bit not very smart on their part to accuse me of stealing. Because if you're going to accuse me of something that's very obviously false and all I do is just set the story straight and I don't even attack you, don't be surprised if people go to your group and realize, oh, wait, this is stolen, this is stolen, this is stolen, this is stolen, like, girl, come on now, like, don't be coming up for other people if you have so much stuff to hide, like, that just doesn't make any sense to me. Anyways, um, yeah, long story short, um, if you use free clothing apps, don't claim that you made the clothing, because that's, that's dishonest and you're a liar. Anyways, so that being said, you guys, my from video, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest every day.